Hello everybody. As you see, I'm approaching the beach. The big carwai shoal, all the skulls feeding on some like pilchards or whatever. Birds diving everywhere, so we'll see if we can latch onto a bigger carwai. Trying to, they're splashing, you see them splashing on the surface. So, got my red gill on again. I'm just gonna toss it out. Just gonna, just gonna retrieve, relax, retrieve. We're in a bit of weed, I think, at the minute. Apologies for the wind, but I haven't got a sort of. A, oh, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. See him? Yeah. Big car white. Or salmon, that's a car white. See him jump? Big car white. Well, I say big car white, reasonable car white. First cast. Oh, there's loads of them. There's some big ones. There's loads of them. Hey, Alec. There's loads of them. That's what the goals look. Let's see if I can get them on the beach. Oh, Christ, there's loads of them, look. Oh, there's hundreds of them. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's gone. He's got off. Look at that. Look at you see them all on the surface, look. Oh, look at him. Oh, well, I'm just going to cast. I hope I don't get a goal. I could get a goal here. A bit silly. Let it sink, let it sink. Oh, have we got a goal? Hey, look, look at all the car wire. Look. Do you see him? There is fucking millions. If they do not hit this red gill, that is criminal. They do not. Hey, hey, we're in. We're in. Hey, we're in. <laughs> look at this. He's taking line, this one. This one's off to bloody. There's, there's millions of them. Look, look at them all. Look. That is millions. Absolutely millions. Look at this. I was just in my car rigging up for some bot fishing tonight and I just saw all this fucking look at the fucking <laughs> Look at the size of them look. There's, there's, there must be fucking There must be 500 there. So I'm just gonna try and there yeah. So this one don't get away. This one's probably about four or five pounds, this one, so I'm just taking it easy. I've only got a 15 pound leader, so I'm, I'm using 10 pound line. So I'm just trying to, they're quite powerful fish. They sort of jump out, jump out of the water. That is fucking loads of them. It is loads of them. I was gonna try and get this one up the beach. You don't see when they don't want to come, they don't want to come. You just gotta take your time with them, really. But I've caught, caught lots of these caught lots you just got to wait for a wave and you've got to just he's still going he's still taking line this one might then some of them are big fish some of them are quite big fish this is about five pound five or six pound i'd say if i can just he's, bit, he's, he's on the red gill I'm just going to try and get him up no 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 he don't want to come there yeah there yeah he's, he's he's in the muddle now Unless he turns. Oh, he's turning. He's turning. He's turning. It's quite a nice fish, this one. Very soft mouths. They get off a lot, these fish. So we might not we'll be lucky to get him. Very soft mouths. There you are. He's just doinked it on the head. use heavy gear you can just winch them up the beach like this other guy's just gone and done but I think he's tired now this one just gonna use the wave oh he's cool he's a big fish he's a big fish this one look at that look at that what do you think of that then oh he's about six pounds I'd say so you can see what I was saying about ah. Oh, what a beautiful fish on the beach. It's going to be greedy with them. Look at that. Look at that. They're beautiful. I suppose
about five, five, five or six pounds, something like that. Hard fighting fish. Carwai they're called, or Australian salmon. Look at that, look. And the little red gill. Oh, come here, you. Let's just try and get him out. Ever since off the mouth, I was lucky to get that one. Beauty. You can go back. Let's put him back. Oh, it's a strong fish. It's a strong fish. It's a strong, strong fish. Oh, he's about, I'd say about six pounds, this one. In you go. In you go. Come on. On you, come on. Where you gone? Wrong way. Ah, he's gone now. He's gone now. Hope he's all right. It's nice to um, other people fishing to come down as well now. Stop not slid. Some people are greedy. Take enough for the table. So just I've never seen so many. I've never seen so many sort of come in. Um, they're still there. There's still some in front of me. again we're in again lots of lots of head shakes there's a lot of car white here now they've all come in there must have been a shoal of anchorages or um, pilchards or something or smelts just just come in because i've been i've been here for days and days and days lots of little juvenile ones which just are resident here but the ones which are turned up they're offshore fish and um this is um, really quite exhilarating. And this is a similar sized fish, I'd say. He's head jumping out of the water like this is lovely. Absolutely lovely. This New Year's Day. No, sorry, this is New Year's Eve. He's taken line, he's heading out to sea. Isn't this wonderful? Absolutely wonderful. It's nice, I've got £10. Berkeley fire line exceed on and that is beautiful this is quite a big fish um, and there's no hurry there's no hurry enjoy the scrap there you are he's going berserk going berserk this might be a bigger fish actually we're certainly certainly after it that's for sure he's plucking at it and then bang oh he's gone he's gone he's either snapped the fucking line or lead or something what's happened here no oh it's still there good good so he got off very soft mouths cowboy so don't get too dis don't get too disheartened if um if they get off very soft mouths right quickly chuck that out again there's some big fish here there you are i can sit i can see him just close in no need to lob it out too far when it's like this and um they're in the shallows. This is sort of swimming together. Beautiful. Had a couple of plucks then. A couple of plucks. Good sign. So we're just gonna, gonna cast. Over that bit of weed. A nice fish that's a nice one i caught there it's the best one i've had since i've been back in new zealand i've had ones bigger than that oh here we go we're in we're in we're in we're in he's grabbed it he's grabbed it he's grabbed it another good fish there's a, some big fish here oh he's going for it he's taking the line here we go wow awesome fishing Gotta take the time for this one. Oh yeah. He's really kicking this one. This one is not ready. 
He's got to keep pressure on him, keep the line tight, let him take line, keep it tight. They're very soft nose. I'm using a size one hook, it's a very small hook, but it's got a nice twist in it. It's a Mustang. It's a whiting hook I brought in Australia. It's got a nice twist in it, very sharp. And um, it's got a not hurry it really. It's very it's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Stays like this when you yeah, it's beautiful. Let's see the sun on him. He's one of this fish is one of what the hell well what the hell he's got on him. Oh Christ, they've got loads up there. Well I hope I don't snap my gear off because I want to carry on fishing. But there he is. There's no hurry, I'm not I am not no intention of keeping the bloody things. There you go, there you go, there he is. It's a bit it's a big, bigger fish. It's just in the shallows there. Just waiting for a wave to sort of bring him up the beach a bit. But the 10 pound line, he sort of comes right back in again. So we're just, we're just there's no hurry, there's no hurry. There's no hurry, usually. Yeah, he's come. Oh, bloody hell. That's a clunker. Quick for the drag. I've got no drag, you see. Oh, he's about. That's a bigger fish. That's a bigger fish. Look at that. Look at that one. Sorry if the camera's spinning around. I'm not very... You can see the, the red gill. Beautiful fish. A bit longer. Not as, not as stocky as the other one, but a lovely, lovely fish reasonable eating they're sort of you know you have to bleed them they're not bad eating but I'm just not in a position to take them home really so yeah so we're just gonna oh just gonna sorry that the camera's spinning around but uh, still got plenty of life in him Hope you can see him Hope you can see him there Put him back. In you go. I put him back. I've got a fish slime on me now. Fish slime. I'm putting the fish slime on my legs for some reason. I don't know what on my hands, but that fish slime is probably quite good for the for the for the legs maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I've gone all crazy. Right, the stop knot. There's some seriously big car wire just turned up here. Considering what I have been catching, I'm going to get tiny, tiny little car wire of about half a pound. If that, a pound, pound and a half. So, they're still here. Just got to cast it out. It's ever so good fun. Watch my car keys. And uh, they've turned up for something. Turned up for something. Get quite a lot of the river mouths. There's none there, so it's, it's got a heap of fish. the fish see the golds over over that side look you see them all the fish are there they're chasing um, little little bait fish which are sort of coming into the shallows I'd imagine the car wire pushing those little bits of bait fish quite dramatic really Real pleasure to sort of be on the beach when that's going off like that. You can run into them fish. Um, 
you know, there can be no bird activity. You can you can run into those fish, but bit few and far between. But when it, when it's like that, when you can physically see them, it's like the, the fish have they have um, schooled off. They've, they've down gone down the other end now. But I still feel that just one there'll be fish here. So you can see them down that end. All you do, you just sort of the chance to sort of regather your wits and see it's apologies about the wind. But often good fishing is about being on the being, it's about it's about timing. I suppose it's pretty much life really. That's what sums up life. Life is all about timing, fishing is all about timing. There's some big you can see some big car right out with some gulls that they're splashing. So you just gotta you've had two I've had two fish there, you could say I've had one about five pounds, another one was probably about five or six pounds. So it's, you know, it's eleven pounds worth of fish. And I hooked another one and he got off. So you're looking at the £15 worth of fish, that's a lot of fillets. You know, if I was in a position to take them home, yeah, stock up the freezer a little bit. But I don't want to bust off this rig because that means I've got to go back to the car, all that sort of shit, you know, takes time. Just want to keep this this rig going. But boy have they been whacking this this lure man. They have been whacking it. Absolutely whacking it. It's a clump of weed out there, which is a pain in the ass. So I'm just going to move around a little bit. The nibble then. Oh, that was that weed. Uh, nothing there yet. Just having a set of gear in your car when they're here and just sort of Bit, but we're just gonna persevere with it. Gonna go around the other side tonight and go for a moki. Not um, 